What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And in this video right now, what I'm going to be talking to you about is how to build a website for your clothing brand. If you're thinking about building a website for your clothing brand, I'm going to be going over the top website builders that are out there. Shopify, Wix, Big Cartel, Squarespace, and I'm gonna be covering the pros and cons of each of them. And by the end of this video, you're really going to know exactly which one you want to use so that you can stop procrastinating and get started building your clothing brand's website right now. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Brand Crowd. And if you need designs made, for your clothing brand, then I seriously recommend that you check them out. They have a tool called the Logo Maker Tool, which is where they have a huge library of already professionally designed logos that you can customize. You can add your own fonts, your own layout to it. All of that's free to try. Then when you decide that you like the logo that you've created, then you can decide to purchase it, remove it from the marketplace so that it's yours entirely. If you're interested, follow the link in the description because it'll give you a huge discount. All right, hands down, the two best website builders that you wanna be considering when you're thinking about building a website for your clothing brand are Wix and Shopify. All of the other ones really don't even come close to how good these two are. And so for the purpose of this video, those are the ones that we're gonna be comparing against each other. And really they're different depending on what you want to get out of the website builder that you're using. And really quickly here, I just wanna to touch up on Squarespace and Big Cartel and things like that. Squarespace is really good if you're looking at building like a portfolio or you know an online resume or just kind of like a static website or maybe like a blog or something very simple. But it really doesn't have that back end compatibility and features that you need to actually build a strong e-commerce store. Big Cartel is really good because it allows you to set up a store and sell online for free. And it's really good at selling individual pieces. So if you're looking to sell like artwork or really, you know, not move a lot of product, then it's good. But if you want to scale up, which I'm sure you do, you know, with your clothing brand and start selling a lot, it really isn't made to handle a lot of sales and to process all of that. All right, let's get into the big question here. Which is best for your clothing brand? Wix or Shopify, and they're both absolutely amazing options. And the good news is that basically, whichever one you decide to go with, you really can't go wrong because they're both absolutely unbelievable for creating a website for your clothing brand. But before you get started right now, just let me go over some of the pros and cons for you so that you can understand which one's best for you based on where you're at right now. Because I think that that is the biggest component to all of this is where you're at right now will largely determine which one is best for you, okay? so. Wix has the most flexibility when it comes to the editor and your ability to be as creative as you want when it comes to a website builder for you, okay? So on Wix, it's basically this free reign drag and drop editor that you can use and it's absolutely unbelievable if you have a particular vision for your clothing brand or if you wanna just play around freely without being sort of held in and boxed in by a certain structure and a certain template. On Shopify, when you go to build your website on Shopify, it has a really rigid structure to a lot of it, and it's not as free reign as it is on Wix. Literally, Wix's slogan is creation without limits, and that is what they're known for, that's what they're best at, that's what their strength is, okay? So if you're looking to create something really creative, looking to drag and drop and play around and not work within a structure, then Wix is a really, really good option for you. At the same time, Shopify can be really good to have that structure because if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't have a background in web design and you know you hop on Wix, there's a risk that you're gonna end up creating a website with sort of a sloppy user experience. Whereas if you do it through Shopify, you know, you use their structure, you use their template, and it's really likely to create a solid user experience for the person who's going through your website. So that's really just something for you to know before you get into it. Another thing to know about Wix and Shopify is that Wix has zero transaction fees on any pricing plan, while Shopify actually takes a percentage of the transaction fees that you make on your website. So if you're selling clothing through Wix, basically whatever you sell, you know, they don't take any money from what you're selling, you just pay that per month rate, whereas Shopify takes a certain percentage of what you're selling. Now the number one reason why I think that you should use Wix if you're just getting started building your clothing brand's website, and I swear I'm not getting paid to say Wix is better than Shopify or Shopify is better than Wix, this is an honest suggestion that I have for you here, is that Wix allows you to build your website for as long as you want with basically all of its features for completely free 
until you feel like you want to upgrade to actually integrate your store. And you can basically play around and design and build your website for as long as you want for free without having to go through a trial period and be in this sort of time constraint, okay? So I remember when we were building my website using Wix, you know, we basically played around for like a month or so until it looked great and until we felt really confident using their whole system. And then once we felt comfortable using all their tools, we decided to actually check out, get their you know, premium plan so that we could host our store and do all of that stuff. With Shopify, there is a 14 day trial. So you basically only have 14 days to play around and to start building your website. And then it's really time crunched by you actually having to pay and upgrade and actually become a paying member of Shopify. That being said, there are definitely reasons why you choose Shopify over Wix. And one of them is that Shopify is really made for bigger businesses. They're made to be the best you know, website builder for businesses that are processing a lot of sales, a lot of orders all the time, and they're really structured for that particular reason. Another thing is that they allow you to process payments that Wix doesn't allow you to process, okay? So those digital wallet payments, such as Apple Pay, Amazon Pay, Wix doesn't actually integrate that, but Wix does obviously allow you to process PayPal, all the standard visas, all the standard credit cards, and all of the you know general things that people use, but they haven't integrated Apple Pay and Amazon Pay yet. And why would you use Wix over Shopify? Like I said before, Wix has a lot more creative control, a lot more templates, and the drag and drop is just so much easier. And that's also backed with a very, very strong backend when it comes to the e-commerce side as well, that will allow you to really process a ton of orders, tons of sales at a really professional level you know, that is definitely way higher up than something like Big Cartel and those other website builders, okay? So Wix is definitely still solid when it comes to processing those orders and building a real business. And I really think that if you're just getting started, if you're looking for something to build a website for your clothing brand without having to hire somebody to do it and where you can play around and you're building your website based on your own creativity, your own visualization, I highly recommend you use Wix because it's the easiest to actually build the website and because you have that free option for as long as you want until you decide to actually upgrade, okay? Now that being said, the big thing for you right now, if you're starting up a clothing brand, if you're thinking about it, is to take this information, go check them out, and then stop procrastinating and pick one and just get started, all right? Because at the end of the day, if you're sitting around thinking about how to create a website, thinking about all this beforehand, you know, it can get kind of out of control and you can procrastinate for months, all right? So either of those options are going to be great for you, and I'm excited to really share that with you and get you started and get you moving towards building a successful clothing brand. I hope that this video really helped you out. Let me know what you think in the comments below and drop your brand down there as well. I like to check out the brands that are watching and check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. It's 100% free to watch. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and you can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have going on for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.